In today's video, we review Brian Johnson's $2 million a year diet and routine. Roll the titles. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. As always, just a quick reminder that I'm now offering the SIBO, organic acid, stool tests and consult via my website. So if you have any health or digestive problems, then consider taking these tests as they will provide a lot of very detailed information upon which you can start making informed decisions and then start getting your health back on track. And on that bombshell, to the video. <laughs> Hey, Brian. What's up? What's up? So good to see you. Yeah, so good to see you. Too long. I have something to give Ooh, you. Nice. Yeah. You know, like I guess before people typically take a shot, yeah. get in the right mind state, this yeah. is going to be extra virgin olive oil. Oh, wow. Tasty. At least it's not the cliche lemon water, though, I suppose. To forever tomorrows. Mmm. Actually, it tastes really good. Isn't that delicious? Yeah. It's 15% of my diet. Did I just hear that right? 15% of his diet is in the form of olive oil. No doubt we will get into some of the olive oil claims as we go through this video. 15%? Yeah, every day. Three tablespoons a day. Three tablespoons is 15% <laughs> of your diet? <laughs> in terms of what three tablespoons of olive oil gets you nutritionally, it gives you around 357 calories, total fat around 40 grams, saturated fat around five grams, monounsaturated fat around 30 grams, polyunsaturated fat around four grams, no cholesterol, sodium is less than one milligram, and in terms of total carbohydrates, it's really around naught grams, dietary fiber, naught grams, sugars, naught grams, protein is also naught grams. There is reasonable levels of vitamin E and vitamin K and various different antioxidants, but not things that you can't get from many other whole foods. Essentially though, olive oil is just empty calories, but again, we will get into all of this further during the video. So I'm gonna show you everything we do today. Yeah. I think so, what's so cool about you, Steve, so last month, you got ranked on the Rejuvenation Olympics leaderboard. I, I, I was surprised, to be honest with you. <laughs> it's amazing. I, I couldn't believe that I was even anywhere in the top area because of, I mean, I do, I, I'm a biohacker for sure. He's a cyborg, you idiot. I travel, you know, I still do 200 shows a year for like 17 years. My circadian rhythm's completely off because yeah. I'm just like zooming and zipping all across the country and the world. There's only 25 people on the leaderboard. You're there among yeah. like the best of the best. So you're a great example of living life to the fullest. Right. And you're taking care of yourself. Right. All right, let's yeah. go over here. Let me okay. show you what right. started. For those of you who don't know, the Rejuvenation Olympics developed by Brian is a competition and public leaderboard that ranks anti-aging interventions based on their effectiveness in reversing aging as validated by epigenetic methylation algorithms and is open for public participation. And in case you're even remotely interested, epigenetic methylation algorithms are computational methods used to analyze DNA methylation patterns, which can indicate changes in gene activity and are used to assess biological aging and the effectiveness of anti-aging interventions. The science of using epigenetic methylation patterns to assess biological aging is promising and advancing, yet it remains a developing field with ongoing research needed for standardization and clinical application. Okay, cool. All right, so let's see. So first thing, when I wake up in the morning, I cool. have a, a drink I call the Green Giant. And this has 13 milligrams of spermidine, 7.6 grams of aminos, 0.5 grams of creatine, 20 grams of collagen peptides, mm. and 500 milligrams of cocoflavanols, cinnamon. I love cinnamon. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. In terms of that little concoction you were looking at, around 110 calories, 27 grams of protein, trace amounts of carbs, and also trace amounts of fats. The supplements, spermidine, amino acids, creatine, collagen peptides, cacao flavonoids, generally lack significant vitamins and minerals, with the exception of potential minor amounts of calcium, magnesium, and iron in collagen and cacao flavonoids, respectively. So for now, I will stick to my porridge for breakfast. Oh, mountain, mountain of, yeah. of uh, rejuvenation. So do you want to do the honors with a stir? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> this is exciting <laughs> stuff right now. Oh, I know, man. I, 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 I oh, was man. about this. Dude, I'm so happy to be here. Yeah. All right. I think it's ready now. I think it's ready. Let's yeah. taste the green giant, guys. We're doing it. 
Wow, here we go. I can't wait. Whoa. I hope it tastes better than it looks because it looks like pond water. Really good. <laughs> Surprising. It's really good. Or so you only have like one of these a day? One a day. You can't do more? Or is it too much stuff? Too much stuff. Too much stuff of what? Mm. Yeah, that's fun. That's a good way of doing it. <laughs> I like that, Steve. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was the most beautiful intake of green giant of everything <laughs> in my life. <laughs> that, was, that was so amazing. It just tastes so good. I, I, don't want, like, I want it all. I want it all. I am curious to know what that tastes like. And if you want me to do a day of eating like Brian, then let me know in the comments below. Normally I would take 60 some odd pills okay. with that. Okay. Oh, okay. You, you, like, okay. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this is, this is our, um, our bag of goodies. So let's get you going. Just the 60 pills with that pond water. That sounds like a delight first thing in the morning. So let's see if he goes into the supplements. Brocco Max. So this is just, um, Oh, broccoli. Like what's inside broccoli? Yep. Uh, astaxanthin, ashwagandha, calcium alpha ketoglutarate. I don't know what that is. What are you even saying? This is among the best interventions for aging. Wow. Uh, really compelling evidence for improving the frailty index. Basically yeah. you age uh, in a more healthy way. Right, okay. You're right, less right, frail. Right. Vitamin D3. Oh, D3, K2? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's the good stuff. So hopefully this is a good starter right. pack for you. So all of these can be obtained from Whole Foods. So I'm not sure what evidence Brian has that he is getting any additional benefit over getting those nutrients and compounds from their whole food sources. Do it. I'm just gonna do it like this. <gasps> done. You are a pro. I know. I'm I, so I, I impressed. Don't out. I'm done. I'm good. Wow. I'm a, I'm a mess. I'm a mess. But but <laughs> it doesn't matter. It goes all down. One go. That is some serious supplement chugging. You cannot get into trouble in my pantry. It's like, so let's say we're here hanging out. Yeah. And we're like, let's, you know. Let's get, let's get, <laughs> let's get the bad food. All the <laughs> bad foods in the pantry, the chips yeah. and the popcorn. And all. Yeah. yeah, there's just nothing in here to do. This is like the healthiest pantry in the world. It's amazing the definitions of healthy we are getting on the internet these days. Look, I'm all for people wanting to improve their health and living a long and healthy life. But you have to balance this with enjoyment and quality of life. If Brian loves what he is doing and clearly he has the financial resources, then kudos to him. But you get the same, if not better results, eating a well-planned whole foods diet. Okay, all right, Steve has now drank his Green Giant, he's taken his pills, and Steve did such a magnificent job drinking his Green Giant with more enthusiasm and creativity <laughs> than anyone I've seen. I was going to prepare the super veggie for him, which is the first meal of the day, but really, I think I'm going to enjoy more watching Steve. Every calorie has had a fight for its life to be included. I can't imagine being that clinical with food. And for me, if I was to eat like that, there would be zero enjoyment from it. And that is quite sad to think about food in that way. Okay. So what we have here is uh, 300 grams of black lentils. That's weighed cooked. Broccoli, cauliflower, mataki mushrooms, cumin, hemp seeds, and this is ginger and garlic and apple cider vinegar. This little concoction provides approximately 486 calories, 38 grams of protein, 87 and a half grams of carbohydrates, 2.75 grams of fat, and 34.85 grams of fiber. The meal is particularly rich in vitamin C, vitamin K, iron, folate, B vitamins, and minerals like potassium, magnesium, and phosphorus. So let's see what he thinks when he eats it. Yeah, do as you please. Okay. Assemble yeah. it in uh, however, whatever way you want. Okay. Plop that in there. All right, look at that. Okay, let's get the cauliflower in. We got one. <laughs> That's good. No, that one, no, it didn't make the cut. But I'm not gonna waste it. I'm not gonna waste it. I'm a messy guy, Brian. I'm sorry, I'm a messy guy. Last but not least, here's a salad dressing. Can I get into it right now? Let's do it. This is definitely the healthiest breakfast I've ever had in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Look, all of those foods are great and nutritional. For my particular taste, there is no way that I would get any great satisfaction from eating that bowl at any point in the day, but particularly for breakfast. I have seen many people try these diets over the years, including things like calorie restriction, and very few of them last the test of time. 
Again, if this works for Brian and he can be healthy longer term and he genuinely enjoys eating this way, then who is anyone to criticize? The caveat that I would put on that though is that Brian is putting claims out there on this way of eating and lifestyle without any substantial evidence to back it up. I like it because one, it's the Brian Johnson blueprint protocol and I love that. Cool. So I know that's helping my organs. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, it's all about the organ health, right? That's right. Yeah, you gotta think of them like little cartoons, right? Like that's right. Like little, little faces, like, yeah, exactly. like dancing around, yeah. Like, you know? Yeah. When you visualize that, it is actually helpful. Yeah. Yeah, when you embody, when you animate them. I see it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My heart's jumping like, yeah. all happy and shit. So if you were like, what the f is happening? <laughs> <laughs> so good. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> I love broccoli and cauliflower and all of those ingredients. But nobody would ever say so good when eating that bowl. Yes. Amazing. And so much food. Mm. I know. This is a lot of food. <laughs> it takes me 34 minutes to eat this. Mm. I have a puree version. And so right. I'm going to show you a pro move here. Okay. So that was amazing. Yeah. There's two other things you can make it to make it even more amazing. Okay. This should be interesting. Okay. So we add, you had a shot of extra virgin olive oil mm -hmm. when you showed up. Yeah. So you can add the extra virgin olive oil okay. to this okay. and the hemp seeds. And this is then dark chocolate. So dark chocolate is one of the most powerful things you can have in your diet. People think chocolate, Snickers bar, yeah. might as well. Yeah, yeah. Not a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Put that cookie down! What you really want is five layers deep, which is dark chocolate, undutched, tested for heavy metals, and looking at high polyphenol count. Again, dark chocolate, great. Hemp seeds, great. Both great nutritionally. But on top of blended broccoli, cauliflower, mushrooms, etc. Not so much. Then we have the presence of olive oil again. A very contentious subject where food is concerned. Some evidence suggests good and some suggests bad. For me, I look at it like this. If you isolate any fat, protein or carb, then you are taking away all of the packaging and you are giving it to the body in a format that can potentially cause problems over the longer term. If you isolate fruit juices, the most sensible people will acknowledge that it's not good for you in high amounts over the longer term. But it's weird that protein powders and vegetable oils, etc., somehow get a free pass based on obscure evidence. So you have to really drill down to find the highest quality ingredient. Okay. That's true for the olive oil, it's yeah. true for everything else. I'm gonna just get a little artsy right now. Okay, there's that. Mm. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's really good. That's my first taste. I just, <laughs> I, just, I, just, I, just I just, you know what, I just gave up. I just gave up. That's okay. That's totally fine. That that's great. totally fine. There we go. Oh, it's a little yeah. messy, Brian, but you know, that's it's all beautiful. I have. Okay, can I so, just jump in now? Yes, jump in. Right. I think I like this better. I do too. Yeah. yeah. It's easier to, like, you don't have to, you get the same flavor, actually a little bit more flavor here. Yeah, I agree. You get more flavor because you get the, the olive oil, the chocolate. For people that don't eat vegetables that much. Ah, good. We don't want any vegetables. It's like you take a few bites, but like to eat 34 minutes of vegetables, it's a you lot. Can't, you can't do it. Yeah. But this, this makes it a lot easier. Yeah. You do it by eating a wide range of foods and flavors and using nice dressings and herbs and spices. I'm curious, would you personally eat this way? For me, there is zero chance that I would ever consider eating this way, as I know I could get the same, if not better results, eating whole foods and combining flavors. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What, what, what part of the day do you eat this? Uh, so 7 a.m. 7 a.m.? Yeah. Is that when you start eating around that time? Yeah, first meal of the day with this. So I do the yeah. Green Giant, the pills, work out, then mm. this, mm. then Nutty Pudding an hour later, then my okay. third meal like two hours later. Okay. And then I finish by 11 a.m. or so. Mm -hmm. The science on fasting is not really there yet. So yeah. if somebody eats different time frames, fine, not a big deal. Yeah. I just like it because I go, when I go to bed after 10 hours of fasting, I get my best sleep. So it's really all about sleep for me. Yes, I would agree with some of that. Fasting can be a great way of improving your health. And for many people, not constantly eating throughout the day can make them feel more alert, energetic, and have better sleep patterns. But remember, if you have issues with being sluggish after eating certain meals, or you just feel like you need to sleep, or your sleep patterns at night are all over the place, then you have to ask why that is. How do you, how do you deal with like being hungry? How do you deal with that? Like when you're, it's later in the day, like. I love it. Dude. What is wrong with you? You like I it? I love. Oh, I hate it. Oh, really? I hate being hungry. Ah, yeah. That's my, that's like a problem for me. I get hangry. Yeah, important to note yeah. though. So, so Steve has a preference, you know, he has a certain 
relationship with, with hunger, different than mine, it's all fine. Everyone has their own thing. So there's no one right way. It's important to note. Uh, but like the objective is we're trying to say, if you have, if you're trying to be on the frontier of health and wellness, then this is an option to model out, mm -hmm. but then everyone can customize it to their preference. Like Steve yeah. has a different lifestyle he maintains and he's doing really well in health and aging. So this is really meant to showcase different ways of accomplishing the same goal. Right. It's great. Frontier of health and wellness. That's a funny old term, isn't it? He is kind of suggesting that if you don't eat this way or follow this type of approach, then you are not at the cutting edge of health. Again, I'm all for looking after my health, but this has to be balanced with the enjoyment of food. These are not mutually exclusive from one another. Uh, <laughs> welcome to the future. I may cause loss of age. This kind of captures the whole project. Yeah. Chin goes here, forehead here, and it measures 10 biomarkers in the face. Red light therapy, what you do. So yeah. we, we have these two, we have these two guys made custom made. Yeah. So I do this three times so a week. So you just stand in there? Yeah. You're, you're getting close to temp. Do you feel it? Yeah, I feel it great. Yeah, doesn't it? It feels like, like the womb. Whoa, wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, strengthen your entire oh my core. Tell me what you know. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me right now. <laughs> he seems like a really interesting guy, Brian, and he has been super successful in life, selling a business for over $300 million. But this constant obsessing over health and nutrition and every fine detail is too much for me. Again, I really want to know what you all think in the comments below. Do you think this approach is really interesting and innovative, or do you just think it's bordering on jumping off the deep end? So this is the next thing. I think you're gonna love this one. This is yeah. called Nutty Pudding. Yeah. So it's macadamia nuts, walnuts, flaxseed, pomegranate juice, uh, sunflower lechen, also a cup of macadamia milk, pea protein, and berries. Again, all healthy foods. This combination of walnuts, macadamia nuts, ground flax seeds, pomegranate juice, macadamia milk, protein powder, and mixed berries offers a rich blend of healthy fats, including omega-3s, high protein, antioxidants, fiber, and a wide range of vitamins and minerals, especially vitamin C and manganese. If you want same here, you yeah. can just add these ingredients, stir it up. All right, get in there. And this is uh, just a mix of berries. That's right. Yeah. And so you choose your berries, you know, whether yeah. you want blues or, or blacks yeah. or strawberries or raspberries. Okay. So this one, I think you may experience what I do. Yeah. The saddest moment of my day is the last bite of nutty pudding. <laughs> nutty pudding is something everyone would want. All right, here we go, here we go. This is, this is like, this is dessert. It is. Yeah. Oh my God, this is so good. That does look good, and that is the one meal from that day of eating I would absolutely enjoy. It's the best dessert you can possibly have. Nothing here is a nice to have. Everything has a specific purpose for your body. Well, you need to create your own like Brian Johnson. Nutty pudding. You have to do it. Yeah. I mean, look what you do with Venmo. Come on, <laughs> <laughs> you, you can do this. I mean, if you Thanks, do that, yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I, I appreciate that encouragement. I mean, you did Venmo, yeah. come on, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. You guys gotta try this one, it's so good. I might have like dripped off my mouth <laughs> into it, but, but I got a healthy mouth right now. Now for all of you uh, who watch this video, the entire Blueprint protocol is online. All the recipes, all the supplements, everything is there for you for free. So you can try this in a free in your step-by-step -step fashion. You can start with baby steps. You can go into the entire program, but uh, hopefully you'll try it out. You'll experience it. What I did, which is that uh, you start gradually changing your life. You feel better than you ever have before in life. You just want to hold on to it as tight as you can because life is just amazing. So it's all there for you for free. So um, check it out. Look, I admire anyone with this level of dedication towards their health, but at times it can go too far. A quick look at Brian's blueprint protocol, and there are some big issues for the average person. Monthly cost of the blueprint, $1,684, and there is also a massive reliance on supplements and their associated costs. There is also this obsessing over every little element, which I don't think is particularly healthy. Any achievements that Brian is getting eating this way could be equally achieved by eating a healthy balanced diet, drinking plenty of water, exercising and getting a good quality of sleep. Anyhow, that's the end of today's video. And if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to check out this one up here because I'm sure you'll find it equally interesting. And the only other thing that's left for me to say is to remember to look after your body because it's the only place you have to live. And I'll see you next time.